Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, uh, Beauty on a Budget. My name is Heather and today I'm standing here in my garage. I've got these two big deep freezers and a full fridge that we keep in our garage just because our family wasn't that large. But I do find, you know, with only one kid living at home with me, my husband, I did think we could actually need both freezers till I started doing my apples and I'm glad I have the two freezers. So what I did was I got everything out of the two freezers and I've just got everything piled up here on the tarp so I can get all this stuff neatly organized. That was one thing. My freezers are just the big chest freezers. Everything just kind of gets thrown in on top of everything and you can never see what's in there. I'm not cleaning out the fridge today. I did a quick peek and there's not really much in there. It's just more of the backup stuff that goes into the fridge. So I will be doing that fridge after I do the other fridge that's in the house. But I have these two metal um, stacking containers here. I've had these for a long time. I've used them for in my kids' closets to hold their clothes. I've used it for toys, books, games, lots of things. I recently had it down in my craft room and I had all my yarn and... Um, the, oh, what's that stuff of this um the mesh and tool also in it and now i think i can put them in the freezer so i actually did test it and it will work i'm not getting to defrosting my freezer today or cleaning up it was recently cleaned which way this will work so it gives me the most will fit that way good just kind of give me a little more space here if I can get them to stack on top of each other like this and I think this would be good because then I can get my apples that I've done in here and then the rest of my regular fruits in here and then I can use the small one for my meat so that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to count how many bags of apples I have processed so far off my tree I'm just gonna do that. I would use my tripods. I just I can't get to my tripod at this moment. Stuff got moved again. I can't get into the craft room. So I will be back in just a few moments when I get the apples kind of in the freezer. Okay, so I don't have any way to prop these open. That's another reason why it's hard to do this. But in here I've got uh, 41, I think it was something about 40 or 41 bags of chopped apples and one bag of my rhubarb. I was going to stack those two containers up, but when I, I can't fit as much stuff in them if I have them stacked. So I just have them side by side. And then I've got my other bags of fruits that I buy. So I got raspberries, a mixed fruit. Another one, so it's a tropical fruit blend, and then I have a mango, strawberry, and peaches, uh, cranberries, and some blueberries, and coconut. So that is in there. And then the rest of the stuff I will be putting in the other freezer, so that's just the meats. This, this freezer is a little smaller. I just, and then the only other thing that's in here is, it's not a real cockroach, that's one of those, um, Halloween uh, sandwich bags that had the bugs on it. That was just a makeshift um, like a ice bag that my son had made. I found it way in the bottom of this freezer, so I will be getting rid of that. And then, of course, that is my ice cream maker part. So those, so that I will always keep. This I will get rid of. So now I'm just going to put my meats in here, and when I get them put in, I will be back actually I found an old broom handle I'm gonna to use to hold this up because it's hard to lift the meat now I have these one pound uh, different tubes of different meats some say what they are some don't um, these these ones here I just poured out of this box here this bag here so for from Superstore for ten dollars I'm getting four uh, one pound um, little bundles of this is the extra lean turkey. I also buy the chicken. So the chicken and turkey I get four packs So I get four pounds for ten dollars if I do the beef I get three pounds for ten dollars, which I think is still an okay price So because I've got this kind of holding it up Then I can get the rest of my meats in here. So I got a couple of these small little 
some chickens here. I got them for under $20 each. I like to have them just on hand for just a quick dinner. Um, so I'm just gonna, I've got my different fish that I buy. I love like from Superstore, $10. It will do about two, maybe three meals. So two and a half pounds. This is the blue cod. This one is 908 grams. Find it. Nine, yeah, 908 grams. And this is the wild sole filet. And then I've got my wild pink salmon and it's 800 grams. It's not the best amount for like the salmon. It might be cheaper cuts of salmon, but you know, for a little piece of salmon once in a while, it, these little things that are easy to cook. Goes in there. Like I said, it's just gonna be you know, going through and some of my buns are you no know, good. I'm not keeping a lot of the bread. They were down in the bottom of the freezer. Uh, this was something somebody had made that I'm going to get rid of. That was some bread I had made. It's too old. I don't mean it's the bag. bag is split. So I usually try to, if I'm going to do that, old stale bread, make great stuffing. This stuff was in the bottom of the deep freeze. I don't know how long it's been in the deep freeze. So occasionally if I have to throw um, split bags of bread out, I will do so. And then also this... Um, $10 at Superstore. This is a fully cooked Italian style meatballs and you're getting 1.5 kilograms. I do have some chicken drumsticks here. Look at that. You can't beat that price. Only 553. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 drumsticks for under 6 bucks. I've got some bacon here because they had their bacon on a couple months back, like about 3 bucks a, a package. Um, I've got bagels, which my daughter loves. I usually buy my bagels at the Dollar Store, at Dollarama, uh, or Dollar Tree, I mean, Dollar Tree, $1.50 for a pack of bagels. And these ones here I got at um, Independent Grocers, they were half price. Same with these ones. So these ones I'll be bringing up into the uh, fridge so my daughter can start eating bagels again. I've got some these which I have bought a bunch of these English muffins because I want to get into the bulk breakfast so I will be making that hopefully this weekend I can do a whole bunch so I'm just gonna keep putting this stuff away because my stuff is just kind of melting out here it's hot in the garage so I'm just gonna I'll be back when I get the rest of this stuff in oh, the freezer okay and then I've got boxes of chicken so some of them are chicken burgers some are chicken strips and then I got this with the ham and Swiss. And then I've got my little dumplings and pot stickers. A bag of french fries. There's chicken and bacon. I, I throw these here. So we usually do these and french fries together. Now, this freezer is organized, easy for me to see what I have. Uh, this freezer here, I put the mixed veggies in here. So I got a couple bags of, I've got a California, I got two California mixes, and I've got a straight uh, green beans and another mixed veggies. And then I put my um, bagels and English muffins over here just so I be able to find them a little bit easier. So that freezer is done, and uh, this freezer is also done. I've done my two freezers tonight. Oops, I missed these. My little yukimi, little Japanese uh, ice cream mochis. And I said my freezers need to be clean. This is popsicles and slurpees that kind of just built. I don't know what's in this bag. Uh, melted chocolate bar. Okay. I'm just gonna this stuff out to get this box gone. Popsicles. Leave them up here. Some of the popsicles up here. Just melted the other stuff. Got frozen waffles and then my little mochi ice cream and this freezer is basically empty. And then I've got my fridge which is just water, coffee creamer, um, 
extra eggs, another thing of butter, uh, another tub of butter, and then, oh, that was my bag of apples that I was gonna use uh, this afternoon to make my apple cider, because uh, that's the bag that I had made and the bag was split. So I was gonna do something with this and I just haven't got a chance to doing it, so I will be doing that later today. And this is just the rest of my fridge. Not much in this one. Like I said, this is just the overflow type fridge. But I'm going to be doing my fridge and freezer in the house. So I'll be back in a little bit when I get the rest of this stuff kind of cleaned up. I've got to deal with the bread. And I've got another thing of water i got to put away. And then I've got to organize the rest of my garage. It doesn't look very nice. I've got some of my garage sale stuff is just sitting here. Painting supplies are just sitting here. Empty boxes just sitting over behind my bike. You know, my painting. So we got all the painting stuff out. So, yeah. So I'll be back when I'm in the kitchen doing my fridge and pantry. Okay, so now I'm in my kitchen, so now I'm going to be clearing out my pantry. It's been a few months since I've done this, so my first step, of course, is just to pull everything out shelf by shelf. So I will be back when I get everything pulled out. All right, so I got my pantry now cleared out. Right now, what I gotta do is I gotta take, I know I worked hard putting all this on here. Now I have to take it off and give the pantry a really good clean. Some of these I kind of had to take because they were just not sticking around the underside of this. So I get a good feel. should just peel right off. It's, you know, it's easier said than done. At least it can be harder to take this stuff off than to put it on. So there I go, like that. So now I just gotta do it to all the other shelves. Just to get all this stuff off so I can just screw up this and maybe my husband will probably paint inside of this pantry. I'll, I'll wait till he gets home to decide if I put my food back in here or not. That's why I had to use these liners was just we weren't ready to paint and so just with food spills and just cans and things just scraping on here the paint was getting chipped I just thought it was just easier to put this shelf liner on. So now I have to take the shelf liner off. Oops. I don't think I did that now. I think that was already like that from before. So I'm just going to take the rest of these liners out and clean off the shelves and then I will be back. Alright, so I got all the... Um, shelf liner off. So now I'm going to use this um, the LA Awesome Oxygen Orange Cleaner. It's the degreaser and spot remover. I find this stuff works really good cleaning like, almost anything. I'm just going to give everything a good spray. As I said, what it did when I lifted that stuff off, it just left a sticky residue and as you can see just spraying this look at all the pet hair that is caught that looks so bad i'll show you <coughs> doesn't look like there's any pet hair and then as i spray now there's all this just pet hair just appears <coughs> Mm. Okay. And I got it all well sprayed and I've got stuff here where something leaked on the floor. 
It happens quite often, especially in the pantry on the bottom shelf. You don't even notice. And there's food and things on the floor, and it doesn't quite get swept out as much as this normally would. I'm busy, so busy doing other things. So I'm just going to leave this all to sit for a little bit, and I'll come back and wash it out. I'll probably have to get the little razor blade to get that um, it's a craft dinner box that got stuck to the floor. So I will be back in about, I think I'll leave this soak for maybe about five minutes or so. It seemed only let it sit for one or two minutes, but I'm going to let it sit for a few more minutes just because the stuff on the floor really needs that extra few minutes. So I will be back when I am washing it out. Okay, I went and got my tripod. Uh, so what I have is this little double-sided uh, microfiber cloth. I love these for cleaning. I bought these just mostly to do other cleaning, but I find they work good for everything. When my kids were little, this is one thing I give them, uh, and cleaning was fun. I'm just letting that sit for a few minutes, and I'm just wiping it off, I'm getting all that sticky residue off. Like I said, the inside of these cupboards is going to have to get painted. But I'm not worried about that right now. I mean, I'm just washing them out. And i got to put all my food back in here. Because I don't know when my husband will have time to paint this. So all I'm going to do is just wash this out. And then be ready for him to paint. The microfiber cloth it picks up all those little bits of pet hair and then just easy to just pull them off of here just them in my little garbage scuffed up pile so I'm just going to continue to do this to all these shelves and then I got to do the floor so I'm just letting that soak for a few more minutes so I'll be back when I've got all the shelves washed so I used the razor blade, I scraped the cardboard that was stuck to the floor. It's all been washed out and dried. Now I have to figure out how or what I'm putting back in here. So I've got all my food is just on the floor and on the island. So I'm just trying to figure out the best way to put this stuff back in here. Uh, just because I know I'm gonna have to take it out for my husband to paint in here But I can't leave it all out because it was out and my animals are just going crazy because the food is on the floor So I'm just going to put my phone back in the tripod and just slowly put everything back in the pantry a lot neater and anything I have that I know that is uh, we're probably not going to use or anything I'm not going to put back in the pantry I'm going through I'm using this opportunity to go through and just clear out the pantry and just get rid of like empty containers um, like I've got a whole bunch of old spices and things here like they like, you can know, all these little empty jars that had spices in them so I kept them, but I'm not going to, this one here, because this one has, some of these have their little spice grinder, you can't refill. I, I kept them thinking you could refill them, but no, it's the way the caps are put on, you can't refill them. So those will be just going through and getting rid of anything. If I can put, like I've got these granola bars, like this box is almost full, this one's almost empty, I can probably put them all into one box. You know, I have some other things, like the craft dinner. One box was empty, the other box only had two little boxes of the mac and cheese in it, which makes it look like I've got so much more stuff in my pantry than I really have. So I'm just going to go through and just organize this and figure out, you know, kind of like basically what do I have 
what like what type of food do we have to start using up now see there's my cat I see we're just going after the all the food on the on the floor so I will be back as I'm putting everything back in the pantry okay well uh, for some reason it just turned on and started recording I'm just wiping the shelves off just to make sure they were dry and so I'm just gonna start putting the stuff back in the pantry I'm gonna start with what I keep on the bottom so I do have this big box and I'm not gonna put it back in the way I normally do so I'm just gonna start with like my oh my extra flowers and, and sugar Okay, my tripod does not want to. Okay. Doesn't want to let me lower. There we go. So I buy my flower in these big, you know, 10 kilograms or 22 pounds. So I'm going to put these down here. So I have the all-purpose flour and then I've got whole wheat flour. of skin milk powder. I don't know, my containers will need to be filled. Just not doing it tonight. Tonight I just want to get the pantry ready to be um, get ready to get painted this weekend so I don't really want to put too much like, back in here because I'm gonna have to take it all out and then I've got my cases of soups chicken noodles tomato mushroom and vegetable Those there and then I got my big jugs of my oil and my vinegar and I also have this I this is my aloe vera juice I buy this at Walmart it's about ten dollars a jug I don't remember the price anymore the price kind of it's been a little bit since I bought one but they're around ten dollars and I actually mix these with other juices oil and my vinegar. And on the shelf, up. I'm going to skip a shelf. I'm going to go up one more. And I've got all my containers. Always bugs me when people put the lids on wrong. So I've got my so I've got whole wheat flour, my all purpose flour, my white rice. And I have my self-rising flour. And I have my one-to-one -one flour, which is my gluten-free flour. And then I've got uh, diatomaceous earth. And 
two containers of the oatmeal. Those just along. Oops. Or just put those baking things kind of just along the one side of the pantry here. And then I have my canned soups. So I think I'll do those next. So I have a bunch of these. And I just want these go on the other shelf down here. six of them tonight that I'm using in here. So I'm just trying to line them up so I can actually like spin them around. But then I need space over here for my larger cans that don't fit on these. So I do have about six here and I have five or six that I have down in the basement and I love these. They work good for small cans. They don't work good for the larger cans. So my canned tomatoes and some of my beans will just sit here and I'll get all my other canned vegetables put away. So I'll be back when I get the cans put on here because it's going to take a few moments. All right, so you can see I've got all my cans neatly on those racks. I actually opened up all my cases of soup because they were quite empty. So I filled them all up. So I've got Vegetable soup, chicken noodle soup, cream mushroom soup, tomato soup, and then the next one is a mix of others, you know, some of the chicken noodle soups and some beans. The next one over is cream, my cream corn, and then some of my other milks, and then I've got all my beans sitting over here, and tomatoes, and tuna. So that's all my cans of food and items are now right here. I moved all this stuff under here just so it's a little bit better. Um, I'm just going to now start putting the stuff on the next couple shelves. So I guess it's this one here. I've already got those. So my next bins that sit here are full of my noodles. So I will be doing that next. Maybe I should do my glass jar bins next because that is what I am tripping over, but they go way up on the top shelf. And I just wanted to get the stuff from the bottom up. But I think I'm just gonna put these two red baskets up and then I'm gonna do my glass items. So I've got these two red bins here. I'm just gonna take out stuff that doesn't go in here. A lot of things kind of just got mixed in these bins. I have to get cooked. Okay, I just gotta make sure all my process are all sealed. These ones just go up on here. dried lentils and beans to go there. Uh, I'm, now I'm just going to start putting up on the top shelf all the glass items because I am going to trip over these. So on the very top shelf I've got the basket that's got my vinegars and yeah, just vinegars and other salad dressings and then other cans of various things. They're all just lined up over here, so I'm just going to get all my glass jar stuff 
put up here so I've got a little more room to walk through. And so I'll just be back in just a few moments. Okay, so I worked till almost midnight last night putting this stuff kind of back in the pantry to try and figure out how I want to have my stuff arranged. And I just got everything off the floor. So I just have the stuff here on the island left to go through and put away. That's the other thing. I'm just going through and seeing how I can sort things out. Like I've got empty containers. Like this one here says it should be white chocolate squares. It's empty. I don't know if I'm going to buy five white chocolate squares. So I'm debating, you know, on some of these. I might just take some of these labels off. And this one here has, actually this one actually has the white chocolate squares in it. Huh, that's funny. Okay, so I guess I will be going through my jars and figuring out what I have and what I, you know, how to compact it, I guess. Get it a little bit, you know, less, you know, e well, easier to put back in the pantry. I'm trying to figure out what I have that I need to keep out. And so, as like I said, I decided not to have that huge big box down here that I had these other smaller boxes in. But now I'm looking at how many little boxes I have. I might bring that box back, but I'd rather get a container instead of a box. Actually, just because the boxes get wet and then they stick to the floor. So I'm trying to figure out what I have that I can use instead. But this is what I've been working on. I guess I got up my sugars and flowers oil at the bottom then i've got all my canned items and then i've got my dried beans and then my pastas and then my other containers with flour and um oats and rice and then i've got all my glass jars here which are all my baking things and then up in the top i've got this is my all oils and vinegars and this is my dried fruit and then up back there I've got the extra pantry items like I said the stuff that will be in the fridge so when I clear out my fridge I, I'll know if I need to replace any of that stuff because I like to have an open one in the fridge and then an unopened one in the pantry just so I know I'll, I have the product and then I don't have to race out and buy you know food as often or you know try to make something and realize I don't have an ingredient and I'm just pancake mixes and the cereals up there so I'm just gonna keep putting this stuff away I'm just trying to figure out what I have for a plastic container I know I used to have um, some laundry basket things so I'd like to try to find one of my old laundry baskets because that might actually work good but I will be back as I get this stuff put back in Okay, so I went downstairs and I had one more of these bins. So I just put my jello and pudding mixes in. Um, I really like to have these cardboard boxes in a little basket. I don't have one tonight. I went looking. So this is just my bottom. I think it looks better than having that cardboard box. I might still go and put them in these in the cardboard box just for now. And I've got my uh, glass jars of um, this. This is my chicken cacciatore sauce. My different curries. My other you know, sweet and sour honey garlic sauces and my spaghetti sauces. I'm now buying them in these glass jars just because I don't have little kids. So even at that, I when I have the glass jars, I always have them on the floor. So then I've got my other uh, boxes of soup. And then that's all our taco shells. Uh, instant oatmeal. Two packs of popcorn. And then this container here, this little wooden um, CD crate. I've got some of my extra... Um, what are these called? Oh, the bullion cubes, my uh, salt, and then I do have all my different um, gravy mixes, and then some of those soup mixes, and then my biscuit, and more gravy mix. It's kind of not organized, so I'm figuring that one out, because I do have more downstairs, and I'll be just going through my day home food as well, and just you know, getting it all kind of streamlined and more organized then this was all my cans and then I had to put the peanut butter um, a hazelnut spread and my honey here and then I've got some of my little soup bases and macaroni cheese and the instant noodles 
and then I have this little metal wire basket and it's a perfect spot to hold all my different types of chocolate chips and everything and then again um, this basket here is the dried beans and and stuff and I just set this open bag here the dried mangoes this little black hanging basket has got all my seeds and nuts in it then this other hanging basket here has got more seeds nut the chocolate bar and any of my open packages and then I just said to put a few extra things up there that just don't really seem to have like a, a spot at the moment but there we go and my pantry is now done so all the food has been taken out, shelves have been washed good, floor has been washed, food's all back in. I'll show my island here, so you've got it all cleared off. And then I've got a stack of boxes of what I have emptied. So my next thing will be now to do my fridge. This I know it's gotta get done. So like I said I was working last night till about midnight or almost I don't know what time it was nearly midnight so my husband made supper for me last night you can see the pizza <laughs> that's as far as it got it was like it was so late so I'll be cleaning out the fridge in just a few moments but just showing you know I've got to figure out what's in here same with the freezer I've got stuff in here that I just I don't need in here now that I've got the other freezers organized I can get some of this stuff back to the other freezer and yeah so that's what I'll be working on first I just have to wash off my counter and I just gotta uh, I just gotta wash off my counter and I just gotta do a few dishes and then I will be back to clean out my fridge okay so I'm back in my kitchen I'm ready to clean out my fridge I've got my island all cleared off so now I'm just gonna take everything out so I have extra stuff up here of uh, condiments that actually for downstairs only because I was I have to clean the floor and everything downstairs and I was cleaning out the fridge I don't even know what's in here this fridge is not very well I don't think we've had any food get spilt we've had the fridge maybe about a month. I don't I don't know for any food actually spilling, but you never know. Containers and stuff might leak. So I'm just gonna take all this stuff out and I'm just gonna organize these things as to if it's condiments or what it is. And I'm just gonna get everything a little more organized here. Um, also I've got food that I know has been in the fridge for a little while. So I'm going to, you know, clean out some of the containers, take out containers or leftovers. Things I need to get going through. I've got some empty condiment jars that I don't need to keep in my fridge, but it's so hard to get rid of when there's still just enough left in the jars. Or in the bottles for one more. Kind of scared me. Thought it was something else. So, Just little chunks of something in the salad dressing. I thought it was may have gone expired, but nope. It still looks a little funny. This fridge is going to beep because the fridge doors have been open for too long. But I'm just going to pull everything out and give my fridge a good wipe down. And I put everything back in here a lot neater because I've got stuff in this fridge that were some new items that I put in the fridge in the garage. And I got items in the garage that have to come here because I'm just going to be shuffling things around. Oh, there's my feta cheese. Oh, here they are. I asked my daughter the other day, I said, I thought we bought crescent rolls. I couldn't find them. They got tucked way in the back of the fridge. Let's see. 
stuff like this tucked in the back of the fridge. Well, I'm just gonna keep pulling this stuff out. I'll be back when I get this stuff all pulled out just so you don't have to hear the constant beeping of my fridge. Okay, so I've got all the food out. So you can see my whole island is just full of all the food from my fridge. So now I'm just gonna clean my fridge. So I've got just a microfiber cloth and I'm just gonna use the Aileen's um, multi-purpose bathroom cleaning vinegar. This one is uh, lavender. So I'm just gonna give it a quick little spray. I also have this flex zone on this fridge and we're actually using it um, to store meat or I guess um, not meat uh, cheese eggs and butter that's what we're using this one for so I'm just gonna help if I turned it on to spray just a little spray here I'm not taking the shelves out and I'm not taking the crisper drawers out only because it is new. I've had this um, almost two months. We got to the fridge in the middle of July. So I just, I don't feel like trying to take it all apart. I just want to give it a good wipe. It has not been wiped down since before we started putting the food in it. I didn't think anything actually spilled, but there's a few sticky things like syrup and juice that have spilt a little bit, but for the most part, I see my fridge is pretty clean. I don't know if it's just because there's less kids at home using the fridge or if it's just, you know, or if it's just, it takes a long time to get uh, food spilt and the buildup of not cleaning. I think it has to do with like, if you've got more little kids at home, they're more likely to spill and not wipe up right away. Where I know my daughter, if she were to spill anything, she's gonna, if she sees it, she will clean it right away or she will clean as soon as she does notice it. My fridge is gonna beep at me because the doors are all open. I'm just gonna keep wiping out my fridge and I'll be back when I get it wiped out. Okay, so my fridge is now wiped out. So I'm gonna start with the flex zone just so I can get my eggs back in here. Lint stuck from my cloth. I'm gonna get some new fiber micro cloths. This one here just wants to leave like lint, so I know it happens when they get a little bit older. So I've got my eggs. And I have meat that we are defrosting, so I'm just gonna set it here. I'm just gonna grab a plate to put it in so it's not leaking all over the inside of my fridge. This is probably a bit too big to put in a smaller one, but at least this way it's not going to be leaking juices all inside my fridge. There. 
it like that for now. And then I've got a small little cleat, and it's no longer going to fit because of the size of that plate. That's okay. I'll just put in these crescent walls in here. You can see. So my flex zone is now full. It wouldn't normally be, but I need to defrost that meat. I just want to get it out of the way. And same with the eggs. I just like to get my eggs. They're one of the last things I take out of my fridge. And one of the first things I put in, like I said, that microfiber cloth has left little clumps of dust. Or pet hair, you know, whichever. <laughs> okay, so I'll put my milk in here. Uh, the apple cider I made. And oh my god, all the condiment stuff. I gotta figure out. Oh, my husband made pickled eggs. Go up there. And this. So put his stuff in here. See, he's got his drinks that he has that he likes. Set it there. My daughter's got her juice. Juice back there, of course. I always forget which one has to be high, which one has to be low, humidity control, so I just leave them both in the middle one. Then I've got my fruits, one grapefruit and some grapes. Oh, I have a fruit in my fridge at the moment. Oops. I do have some sliced apples for my Pastry, which I always keep in this one. Which, uh, usually don't put things on top of the eggs, but seeing how my egg carton is almost empty, I guess I can just kind of sit on top of the empty part. I've got uh, all my stuff with my coffees. So I've got my dark chocolate silk almond. shuffle this stuff around. And I've got my Earth's Own So Nice Barista Soy. Um, or Barista Soy. Uh, this stuff actually does um, whip up pretty good. Gives you that creamy texture. It works good for the um, like espressos and stuff and lattes, you get that really creamy, foamy. That one works really good. I have another one that I like too. Um, and then I've got this one, this is the chai tea latte. So I like, have I tried this one? Yes, I have tried this one. This one, this is the new one. I don't think it's been, oh, it hasn't been opened yet. So, but I do like this. Can you get this? Okay. I like it, but I prefer it hot. So it says, yeah, you can make it hot, iced, or hot or iced. I like hot. My daughter likes an ice. Those can go up here. It's not going to fit up there now. These we just buy at the dollar store. It's just the sparkling, well, this is the grape and peach.
good eggs that my husband made. I don't like them, <laughs> but he does. And then I've got my kombucha. I like this flavor. It's the Synergy Raw Kombucha and the Trilogy. Uh, this is actually the best deal. I mean, I know they're about between 10 and $12, but it's 1.4 liters. Sometimes the little ones you get like maybe 300 mils are $8 or up to $8 for one or two bottles. So this is the bit better deal. I haven't had any for a while. My stomach was hurting. So I'm going to re, but you know, I find you take it, but when it starts upsetting your stomach, I stop and take a break for about a month. So I will start this in a couple days and finish off this bottle. I don't know how long it's good once you open a bottle. Like it's still good till November. So I don't know, you know, like once you open a bottle, how long you have to use it up. It probably says somewhere in here, but I find, you know, just a little bit goes a long way. So I'll, put this, I'll put this up behind here because this is a glass bottle. I always try to put the glass stuff at the back. And that's my daughter's juice and this is regular juice. Just put it like that. Okay, and this is all the condiments. I will deal with this stuff in a minute because a lot of these are like almost empty. So I'm telling you like this empty, I may or may not put it back in the fridge. You know, it just depends on if I got the I never know if these go under fruit or, you know, with the salad or the fruit. So I'm going to put these with the fruit only because there's less stuff on that side, which is why I always keep my crispers in the middle because it's usually a mix of both fruit and veggies at the same time. And we've got lots of bagels, English muffins. I've got some other buns here, so I'm just going to put all my buns in one bag. So I have these nice dinner buns from Tentera. And I have this other one, oh, the Kaiser bun, it's also from Tentera. And I'll put it in this bag. It's just, I'm putting odd breads and stuff in to, and then I have this other one, it's just one hamburger bun. Again, I'm just going to stick it in here with these buns. That way it's got less room taking up in my fridge. So I'll do that with breads and buns. I'll put them in a pack like this just so it's less room in the fridge. And get rid of. Okay, now I've got my coffee creamers. So I'll figure out which ones have been open. This is the one we're using right now. It's the International Light the Maple Latte. I also recently got the Starbucks Coffee Enhancer Pumpkin Spice Latte. And then I have these ones. These are the Silk. This is, um, it does actually do whip. It is the coconut. It is coconut. I'm trying. So dairy free. Yeah, this is the made with coconut. It's hard when they put their, you know, stickers over top of what it is, and I'm trying to read it in French, and I'm, it doesn't really say, so I had to read the ingredients. Yeah, this is the coconut one. Um, it's the whipping cream. Now, what I do find is I like to put the whipping cream on top of my coffee. Um, I haven't tried this on top of, like, a cake or a pie yet, but I will say this coconut one on top of your coffee, once you put it in the coffee and the heat hits it, it will not keep its shape like regular whipping cream. But it still gives you that whipping cream flavor. So, and then I have these ones. This one a bit. Okay. Well, this is not open. I'll put that in the other fridge because I've already got one. Then I have these ones. And again, this is the silk almond for coffee. And this is the silk um, pumpkin spice. And I believe these are both like coconut based because it's non-dairy. Oh, this is almond based. Okay. Yeah. 
I don't know, I don't really buy the silk, so I guess these ones are almond based. Um, but there was a coupon, you 50 cents off when you buy these. They're only, um, I found these, uh, I can't think of the name of the little grocery store, which just kind of opened up in the last few months. Um, so they were like 3.30 or something, so it was a 50 cents off coupon. And then this one was half price and 50 cents off. So, you know, so I, I got a really good deal on these. So I haven't tried them because I've got so many other creamers at the moment. So these two and the Starbucks one are the new ones. So they will go into the brown fridge. This is the one that we're using. It's down to maybe about here or so. So this one I leave out because I'm making coffee. I'm always drinking coffee throughout the day. or Crisco, shortening, whatever you want to call it. I always keep this down here next to the eggs. Um, same with my cheese. Now I've got broccoli cheese and I got the feta cheese, but I can't at the moment. Okay, so I'm just going to put these here because I got to use up my feta. I forgot about it. And then I've got Again, you know, 50% off, you can't go wrong. This is um, the Astro, this is the Balk Balkan yogurt or Balkan yogurt. This is the cappuccino flavor. I like the coffee flavored ones. Put that there. And I've got some sour cream. This is a staple. It's been a while since we've had any in the house. They never last. So anytime I want something with sour cream, I always have to just go out and buy new sour cream. This I found at Walmart the other day. It is their pumpkin spice cake. So this we will be trying later tonight. Just after supper, it will be our dessert tonight. And let's see. Jams. I only have my one daughter at home. So these are our last big bottles of jam. I told her, I said, after this, I'm just gonna be buying the smaller ones, like the size I buy for my day home. So I've got the twice the fruit, it's supposed to be less calories or less sugar and stuff. And it's, so it's supposed to be a bit better for you. The first ingredient is the berries. This is one's raspberry. This one is strawberry. one home to eat the jam so I said well please don't get eaten up um, I'll make muffins with them and then I have my this I like this is my orange marmalade so I'm gonna go to jam jars this size and this I buy at the dollar store or dollar around with two dollars for this size of marmalade and it's just gonna keep beeping and we've got our pickles, which again, he found them at the store 50% off. That's like the best way to buy, you know, if you're trying to find deals on groceries. Um, Superstore went to the only 30% off, but I found a few other smaller stores that actually do 50% off. As you notice, like our milk too. Milk, 50% off. I know it's only 1%. Um, I don't drink milk. Uh, I use it mostly for baking. My husband might drink a little bit. My daughter, she doesn't drink milk either. We do the other milk alternatives. Same with this, like I don't buy a lot of carton juice, but at 50% off, I think this might be, I might have a little more nutritional value than those like Kool-Aid powder type mixes. But when they're on sale, you know, I'm more apt to purchase them just as, you know. And then this has to go back, so this again, Big thing of coleslaw, 1.71. I think these are around $10 a bottle or $10 or so for a container this size. 50% off. The yogurt too. So if you can see like, you know, just buying a few things where you can find those stickers like that really help. Not going back in. That stuff from my day home. 
This was the last jar of jam I had made. So all the other jars of jam are all eaten. This is the last one left. So I'll put this in here. So hard because usually when I'm doing my fridge, I have a I usually have everything sorted and organized on my island. But today I just I wasn't doing it that way. I'm just trying to get everything in here. It's also a different size of fridge. So I'm just trying to figure out how to get everything to fit back in here. Now I'll probably be shuffling this stuff around because it's not quite fitting the way I like it to fit. And over on this side, because this has this ice maker, and the ice maker is attached to the side of the fridge. And we've got water, uh, cubed ice, and crushed ice. That's a new feature. Other one just had water. So because it has the ice maker, other one had the ice maker in the freezer. But because this one has the ice maker and it makes it up here in the fridge, you lose some space up here, plus you lose a lot of this chunk of this door. As you can see, the ice maker takes up a lot of this right here. So we actually lose like two thirds of our door for space. So there is some room here, but there's like, it's enough that you can fit like, oh, that won't even fit in there. <laughs> Not that one. Um, little bottles of syrup. Nope, that's not even fitting. What did I have? I don't remember what I had here. Something. There was little bottles of something that fit along in here. I'm going to find which ones. Liquid smoke fit. There, it has to be smaller than the liquid smoke. Huh. I don't know what I had sitting here. Okay. Well, this is a bottle of liquid smoke. So you can see how skinny it is. And it just fits there. I can't push it because of the way this shaped. So it's gotta be a bottle about here. If the, if the liquid smoke didn't have this neck up here. So a small bottle, like uh, high as one finger and two finger widths. So that's, just, that's just as big of a container that you can fit in this little gap here. But I will put my stuff that I know that I had up here. So what I had up here was, you know, um, the good ice cream toppings. So we have peanut butter syrup, strawberry syrup, caramel syrup, and the chocolate syrup. And then other things up here and those Sunday is complete without the cherries so my marchino cherries are going to sit up here and then I've got my little mini bottles of the real lemon and real lime and they just fit right there these don't even fit here but what I had sitting on this side was I got this little bottle of the pure maple syrup and I have this, this is this yuzu citrus. I mean, it's almost empty, but you know, I've got to put it back in the fridge. And I have my little bit of liquid smoke. And those three bottles just fit perfectly lined up right there. So they're just kind of tucked in my fridge. They take up no room. I've got my syrups up here for Sunday making stuff. And then on this side of my fridge, my husband needs a whole shelf for his things that he has. And then I've got pancake syrup, like I said, my ketchup, I know it's almost empty, barbecue sauce, sweet and sour or plum sauce, soy sauce. Here, um, Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if I'm saying it right. If I just say it fast enough, it sounds like I'm right. And I got some of my salad dressings. 
you see this one is like enough for one salad but I've got a lot of salad to make up this week so sriracha mayo and then we have the real sriracha sauce and then I've got some chipotle barbecue sauce I think I'll have to put over I don't know this stuff was here I'm thinking it's because I don't know. I think it's because I put these things here I will find somewhere else for his uh, will this one close? Okay, that will close. Let's can I put this here? Will not close. Okay. Okay, I'll put the barbecue sauce up then. And then maple syrup. No, maple syrup can't go up there. Just trying to figure out how to all this is. First time putting this stuff in the fridge. Oh, I can't get away. This is going to be tricky. So now I've got to get the mayonnaise in here, and I can't get the mayonnaise in. back to this other side here this one down here it's not very tall oh no I know I have this down at the bottom these ones are a little shorter they fit down here because up what I had up on this side was my syrups so of my summerland syrups so I got um, blueberry and raspberry and I've got my cranberry. Just fit right like that. And then I have this is the fish sauce. It just fits there. I've got the barbecue uh, Heinz burger sauce. Fits there. I have this Heinz wasabi oli. So it's the wasabi and garlic. I think that was up here. Some of these I had up here. Some of them I had wherever they would fit. Uh, this is the stone ground prepared mustard. It's up here. And then I have these French's. This is a honey chipotle. French's creamy um, sweet applewood. These are all mustards. And I have Hellman's uh, chicken dipping sauce. I don't know. There was one I was able to fit somewhere. No, you know, see. You take everything out and then you can't figure out how it was all fitting up here before. Get all the mustard stuff there now, and now I just can't fit my little balls of. Oh, see. That fits sideways. That's what it was. And these can just get pushed over. These just stack up. There, I got it figured out. Now this one here, it doesn't quite fit, but it just lays on its side like that. And then I have my garlic paste, which surprisingly, I can't get this one to fit where I had it either. So I'm just gonna have to play around with the fridge and try to figure out why I can't get these to go back in. There. Okay, now I've 
Frank got it all fitting in. There. Not only do I have it all fitting in, I now have like a complete shelf that's empty. So I'm going to move my thread all up one. Again. The door doesn't want to stay open now. Maybe not. why my fridge door doesn't want to stay open. It won't fit up on this shelf. Well, I'm just going to slip this. This was not opened yet, so I'm just going to set it on its side. I'm just going to set these in here. I'll be taking them to the other fridge in a minute. Oh my gosh. And a can of cat food, just gotta go in there. And then I gotta get the bakery items back in here. So, again, 50% off this lemon poppy seed cake. Uh, 50% off this little pack of mini donuts. These ones are the caramel crunch, taste really good. And this pack here is also 50% off this pack of donuts. So I think the big pack of donuts was $5, so it was $2.50 for this big pack of donuts. These little mini ones, they were well, just a little over $4, so they were just under $4.50, so $4.30 or something like that. So half price, you know, two something. And same with this little poppy seed cake, I think it was about $4.50, so you know, half price, so $2.25. Just have a little few treats in the fridge. There, there. And of course this cake from Walmart, this was a six dollar cake. So there I've got my fridge all cleaned out. Now the rest of the stuff, um, I'll have to put those condiments back in here but they are from the fridge downstairs because I don't have that one plugged in. And then the rest of the stuff is I have to go through those containers and see what is good or not for food, that what goes back in here, what I have to, you know, leftovers take out containers. So this is done, so now I will do the freezer. And this freezer has this double door and the camera just slid. There we go. I'm just going to take everything out just to see what's here. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to be making for supper. So far, I don't have to take any of this stuff out. This stuff can all just stay here. That's the other thing, too, is when I'm doing this, sometimes it's just getting a look and seeing what's in my freezer. My freezer is pretty empty, so I've got to get to the other freezer. For my apples and pineapple, those can go to the other. These can go up to the fridge freezer. I just need all those here. This. What is this? This one's still good. Okay. Wasn't sure if this was a I don't know. Frozen banana. are from the kids' special cups. They turn any drink into a slushy. I'm only seeing 11. Oh well. These can stay here. You just kind of give some filler space. I got some hot dogs. This is lemon ice stuff like I found at the dollar store. It's actually pretty good. Um, my, oh, what's it called? Pet food, the frozen pet food burgers. My cat didn't like them. My puppy, she doesn't really like that one. Not for this particular flavor. 
This one has got the vegetables and fruit in it. The one that did, the one that was just meat and vegetables, they all liked. This one here is the vegetables and fruit and they don't really like it. And then I just have frozen yogurt, hamburger patties, and a bit of mixed fruit for my daughter and smoothies, a pack of the dumplings, I've got a pack of, half a pack of french rolls, I've got a pack of my spring rolls, I've got my imitation crab meat stuff, a pack of bacon, and then a couple packs of these that I buy at the Dollar, dollar Tree for $1.50 a pack. So I got these ones, you get 10 in this pack, the smaller ones, and then I got a couple packs of the large ones, and you get six. I usually get whatever I can find from there is what I get. So, my daughter put this in. I think she's going to make a banana smoothie. Oops. And then I've got my preformed pie crust, which I bought because I didn't think I had any lard. And then I find lard. Actually, there's not a lot in here. Video these little few waffles. I think you can stay in here. There's not much in that freezer. That would be done. So I just have the two bags of stuff. So when I was making, um, or doing my apples, this would be the apple core parts and the peels. So this, I want to try to make that apple vinegar. And I also seen that the people making that vinegar, uh, pineapple vinegar. So this is the cut stuff off of the our pineapple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got the top part of it here. I was just tired when I did that, obviously. Just threw it all in this bag. But, so those will go in the deep freeze because those will be for making my vinegars. Looks like I said, so I'll just bring it back to the island. So there's what I have to go through. Just those few containers there. Oops, this was the jam I made. This one can go back in the fridge. It's almost used up. Yes, I'm going to make some muffins just so I can use up some of the other jam. Um, oh, this was last night's supper, so I know that can go back in the fridge. So I'll just have to go through and see what's here. I know now that stuff is all takeout stuff. These are in the fridge. I'm going to put them back in the pantry. My daughter had them in her bag and they melted, so she threw them in the fridge. And then we'll put them back in the pantry. So that is it. I guess my fridge is done. I guess I just have to clean the outside of my fridge. Now what I will say is this is not the stainless steel finish. And the stainless steel finish always you not know, smudged. This finish, I don't know what it is. It's got this other color to it. It's like a gray, but it doesn't leave fingerprints. So much easier to keep clean. Just a little spritz of the vinegar. And just buff it with a dry cloth. Now it's got some, some scrapes. It was one of those floor model ones. So we got it quite a good discount. It has a few little scratches on it. But the way I look at it is well, where it scratches is kind of where it's gonna scratch from just normal everyday usage. And but it doesn't leave uh, fingerprints, not as much. I'll have to do a better polish. This cloth is not liking the way this cloth is feeling today, but it's also magnetic. The stainless steel fridges were not magnetic. I've got one little magnet just sitting here. So my fridge is actually magnetic. All those years, my kids want to put their artwork up on the fridge. And I'm like, I'm sorry, you can't hang your stuff on the fridge. 
there's no, it's not a magnetic fridge. I always had my calendars. I always buy those big fridge ones, the big that say mom's um, daily planner or monthly planner ones, whatever they were. Bought various different ones over the years. And it would, you know, it was magnet and I could always hang it on the fridge. And then we had that other fridge. And so for the last like 13 years, not able to hang important stuff on the fridge. I mean, the sides of the fridge were magnetic, so I could always hang a few things. Excuse me. I could always hang a few things on the side, but it wasn't quite the same. And if anything really important, I would tape it onto the fridge. Because sometimes there would be just something I would really need to see or a little stick it notes. So cleaning this is so much easier. Like I said, I just need a better cloth. I think my microfiber claws are at the end of their life, I guess. I've had them for, I've had these probably getting close to 15 years for some of my microfiber cloths. And I will say some of the better ones that I bought like, even like 13, 15 years ago, have outlasted any of the new ones that I bought in the last three years. See, I don't think I own any microfiber claws I bought in the last three years. So this one, it's because you're not supposed to put these through the dryer. These get thrown in the dryer all the time. But you can see how well this just shines up. Of course, if you get something sticky on your cloth, then you'll end up just smearing it across like I just did. But there we go. Now I haven't done this part here needs a good cleaning, but I'll have to lock the door to give it a better cleaning. I gotta do the bottom there. But I think of my I'll say I have now cleaned out two freezers and two fridges. So I'm going to end right here. Just have to do some other basic cleaning. So again, I just want to say uh, thank you so much to everybody who's subscribing to my channels and watching my videos. And I'll see you all in my next ones. Bye.